He's a right little footballer, isn't he? So, we've got a lot on today for a Friday. Tomorrow we've got Tom and Froggy coming over for a coconut shy brew day. I have to make sure I've got all the recipe for that, all the ingredients. Stuart's also picked me up a pump. So I'm gonna repair the cask washer, see if we can get that operational. Kicking the ball for chance again. Oh, he's knocked his water bowl over. And then also, you'll see all of this duct in here. Well, a couple of lads, uh, Sean and Paul, cracking home brewers by all accounts, I'm told. They were kind enough to bring this over for me yesterday. So I'm hoping that we can use that as a chimney for the chooch stack, chooch it, on the, uh, on the boil kettle there. And any surplus, well the surplus is gonna go into ducting the AC unit up and out the building somewhere because as it stands, it's blowing all the heat back into the brewery and making it really hot in here. So if we can duck that up and out, that would be ideal. So we're gonna have a look what we can do with all of this stuff today. But the first thing I'm gonna do, I think, is pull the cask washer out and get it repaired. Right, old chaps, we've got the pump mounted. Still need to mount it electrically, but if we take you down on the uh, angle cam, there we go, you can see and it's attached to the bottom of the tank using that adapter styly thing and then it's attached to this beam on the base down there and then on the inside you'll see we have a threaded nipple poking through unfortunately it seals it well enough so now what I need to do is grab the stainless steel pipe, the half inch pipe that I've got, one inch pipe that I've got and I need to fabricate another one of these. So we've got a spray ball, I've got the fittings, I've got the pipe it's just a case of doing a few weldy poos. So let's crack on with that. So I've got my hops stored in here, this is the coolest place in the building until we get the hop store and the cold room sorted but that means I've got to reach underneath to get to the three phase power for the welder. So we'll give that a whirl. But uh, there's certainly no shortage of argon. Yeah, got a good argon supply there. Find the power cable. Here he is. We'll drag this across. Contact. Oh, this is awkward. That's all. Okay. Yes, I have moved quite a lot of the equipment in here. So this is, after all, the tool storage area. So I've got my bits and pieces here to replicate. So first thing I need to do is remove this spray ball out of here, stick it onto this half inch socket, and then this half inch, two, three quarter inch adapter goes inside the pipe. And then on the other end, I need a three quarter inch to half inch female, which I might have over here. What am I talking about? I don't need one of these at all. I'm not sure why I actually used one of these in the first place. Maybe I didn't have anything else, but you can see that's a three quarter to half inch uh, reducing bush, if you like. Well, why not just weld on a half inch socket? That'll do. Good news this morning. 
We've got everything in here. That works a treat, so that's acid. And then in here we have rinse, caustic. Um, but I think I'm done for the day, folks. I think what I want to do is jump into the van, go home, get changed, then come back down in the van, because Stuart's using it, and then go for a few beers, meet Craig, maybe Frenchy, and uh, yeah, get ready to go home about six, seven o'clock for the big day tomorrow. I was setting up the control panel for the HLT, but unfortunately I forgot to put it on auto and I've had it on so the HLT is actually heated right up to it was 81 when I turned yeah we've got 79 degrees <laughs> what a plonker no harm done though it's fine that should be recirculating now I've turned it on should be Let's have a feel. Oh yeah, I can feel it. She's recircing. So we'll just cycle it through to the off position and then back onto auto. That should come on at half three in the morning. When we will be back in here and commencing operation coconut shy. We'll see you then. Ciao.